Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Runway. This week I'm at Rosa Massimo's Hair Academy here with Jazz in Bradford. Hi Jazz, how are Hi, you? Hi, I'm alright, thanks. How are you? Very well, thank you for having Asia here today. Uh, no problem at all, it's a pleasure. So tell us a little bit about the academy, how does it work? Okay, um, we've got a training academy obviously set up in Bradford currently, but we do travel mm -hmm. throughout the country if we've got the demand and students require us to obviously come to them if it's difficult for them to travel here. Mm -hmm. uh, the academy has been running for about a year now. Okay. Previous to the academy, we've had the salon um, and we've basically set up the academy since then. Um, there's two types of courses that we offer at the moment. You've got the three-day course mm -hmm. and the five-day course. Mm -hmm. It just really depends on how much experience our students require. Mm -hmm. um, and that's all it really comes down to. We are looking to offer other courses um, as of next year, early next year, in terms of two-day courses and one-day courses. Again, just for basic skills, because we've got the demand. We are getting students inquiring about just coming along to just get some basic skills to do hair at home rather than actually pursue a career within hairdressing. Okay. Um, so I guess that would be for somebody who just wants to know how to do like an updo yeah. or straighten their hair, using the tongs and stuff like that. Yeah, they can learn those kind of basic yeah, things. Yeah, just really to do hair at home for occasions yeah. such as if they're going to a wedding. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a girl last week ringing me up from Birmingham mm -hmm. um, not wanting to pursue a career within hairdressing she just generally wanted to learn how to do hair with her and her family really for mm. occasions yeah um, so the demand is there we get constantly asked when are we going to do two-day courses we get a lot of students inquiring about not being able to come along to do five days because it's too long they can't take obviously time out from work or leave their kids for that long and yeah. um, so we can see the demands there and we're now going to tailor a course around that and provide it as of January next year okay. so people just need to really join us on Facebook mm -hmm. look out for course date look out for obviously the course information and if they're interested they can contact us on the well, via Facebook on the mobile number that we've got currently for the academy set up. Okay, and so a little bit more about your five-day course. Okay. Does that run Monday to Friday? Yes, it's always Monday to Friday at the moment. Okay. It may change in the future because we do have a lot of students that struggle to get holidays from work because yeah. at the moment most of our students are fitting these courses we find within their current work time mm -hmm. um, and then once they've, obviously they've, they've qualified with us and they took away the experience, I assume the majority of them are actually going to use this experience to set up self-employed businesses within either their, their own time mm -hmm. or leave their current job and take up the experience yeah. to actually do this full time. Yeah. So yeah, the five day course is currently on Monday to Friday, may change in the future, again changes etc will all go on Facebook and our website. Mm -hmm. And how often do they run your courses? This year we've been running them every two to three months. Uh, we're hoping as of next year it will be a lot more regular every one to two months. It just really depends on the demand because within the time of the courses we're also running the salons we're running the beauty salon mm. we're doing a lot of live shows we've got a lot of competitions coming up so it's fitting everything in within the course courses that we run so hopefully it all depends on demand if the demand's there we'll we'll do it obviously we would never refuse to of set course. up a course yeah sure because you were saying earlier as well that you're actually expanding so you've yeah. got a salon here in bradford that's right and you've also got one open up not too far away from here in huddersfield which huddersfield. is not too far from manchester so it's about 20 minutes from here okay uh, we've got the beauty salon that's set up in bradford as well mm -hmm. and then obviously the academy which is currently set up in bradford but we do travel throughout the country so recently, about a month ago, we went to a show in Manchester, mm -hmm. GMEX um, Arena, which mm -hmm. is obviously quite a big arena within the city centre. Um, there were 20,000 uh, students within the beauty industry there, so mm -hmm. we were the only hair industry people there, which was a new thing for us, but mm -hmm. we thought we'd give it a try and let's let, let's people, let people meet us. Yeah. Um, especially with the fact that a lot of our courses, we find students and beauticians, so mm -hmm. we thought it's, it's a good way to get in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there were 20,000 people there, we were just there literally for information purposes and it, the demand was so high we ended up cutting 120 people's hair that wow. day. And a lot of them were actually qualified beauticians and hairdressers okay. who trusted to come to us yeah. as hairdressers to get their own hair done, which was really nice for us because mm. normally a hairdresser will go to another hairdresser. Yeah. But we got great feedback, it went really well, we met a lot of people, we got a lot of interest in terms of working in terms of business with new people in the future mm -hmm. um, as well so in terms of the show it went down really well for oh, us. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now so tell us a little bit about you yourselves in the sense that you guys go all around the country. Yeah. 
Now, what if you lot had a group of people from London, mm-hmm. you know, demand from there? Do you actually go down to different parts of the country and actually train as yeah. well? Um, there's a couple of things that we do. We do in salon training because we do actually get a lot of hairdressers who want to get more experience within updos. Okay, right, it's not okay. your normal updos that we teach. We'll teach you your basics, mm-hmm. but we teach you updos that you can obviously. It's more bridal from in your face type of looks as you can see from our pictures yeah. they're not just your general everyday updos they're nice elegant mm. you know updos and mm-hmm. um, so we, we do in salon training so if there's a salon uh, and they require their staff to be trained by us the owner and sure. uh, they can obviously contact us we mm-hmm. will it depends on how many days they want to do some people require just one day's training just like a top-up refresher course yeah some people want their students because they have juniors in there to come along um, to the salon on the day and do training uh, in terms of the other type of training that we do, we have students that can't travel to Bradford mm-hmm. or nearby and mm-hmm. um, so we will travel out to them as long as there's sufficient numbers for us to do that. So yeah, it's literally just contacting us, letting mm-hmm. us know how many people are interested, how many days are interested in and us just working out a day with them and working out a cost to make sure obviously everyone's happy really. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the same thing, we'd still bring a photographer with us, you'd still get the full entitlement to the course which we offer in Bradford but it's just going to be obviously closer to you guys. Yeah. So we will travel, yeah. Um, so I'm sure people are probably wondering at home, Rosa, because yeah. I'm obviously not interviewing you here today, yeah. tell us a little bit about her background. Okay, Rosa's been within the hair industry for about 15 years now. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's originally from Italy, mm-hmm. okay, from Naples, uh, and as you're aware, Italians are very well known within the hair industry. Mm-hmm. Um, she came to this country about 10 years ago, uh, to London and actually trained and worked within Vidal Sassoon, the academy. Mm-hmm. Um, since then, she's obviously worked with them, come to Bradford, set up her own shop. Obviously, you're in it now. Mm-hmm. Um, and since then, I've been, well, I've, been, I've known Rosa for about 10 years now, since she's been within the country. I met her from coming to her salon. Um, and since then, we've got very close, and I've obviously started to work alongside her to develop the company, to develop, develop the, the, you know, the academy, mm-hmm. and let people see what, what, what it is that she's got to offer. She is very, very talented, and in terms of hairdressing, there's no one out there, in, in my eyes, like her and what she can do. So on your courses, she's the one that's actually teaching? Yeah, it is actually Rosa herself. Okay. What's important for our students and our potential students to know is, you're not just getting Rosa when you come to our courses, She's actually getting ongoing training by the top, top well-known hair artists out there at the moment, such as Patrick Cameron, um, Anthony Moscolo, obviously mm-hmm. uh, Tony and Guy. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got Andrew Collinge as well. Mm-hmm. And these people actually know Rosa personally. She doesn't just go to their course and train. Mm-hmm. They know her personally, so they may call her to help you know, assist with their own training with students. That has happened before in the past oh, where wow. she's actually been to London to a top-up course mm-hmm. to make sure her, her skills are always up to date and they've asked her to help teach with the other students. Oh, wow. It has happened. So she's recognised um, and they have been down sometimes to actually visit uh, Rosa herself and see what she's doing. Really? So you're not just getting Rosa, you're getting her years of experience with yeah. the top people out there, mm-hmm. which is better, for, you're getting more for your money really. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, she's been here 10 years, she's since set up the salon mm-hmm. and the second salon. Um, and obviously the academy since and we are now obviously expanding to set up further salons towards Manchester and potentially Birmingham and London which is why we're looking to take on some of the students that we find are very talented pick up the skill very well to work within these salons Mm -hmm. and we are always looking to expand the team because we do want to grow and we want to grow quick basically and these students have qualified with you guys yes they they're not Quali- some of them, may- some of them are qualified in terms. Of they have definitely done our course, but yeah. they may not have a hair qualification. For yeah. us, it's about what you can do in the skill. And mm-hmm. um, obviously, you do need a, a qualification in the long term. Mm-hmm. Um, and we will actually put you into college. So once you come along, if you're not qualified, as, as in you've not got the qualification, but you've got the experience, mm-hmm. we'll obviously take you on board, mm-hmm. and we will make sure you attend college to get the qualification mm-hmm. because it is required and it is recognised at some stage within the career of that person. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are people that come across and are qualified already and obviously come to our courses, get the experience, you can clearly see they're very talented mm-hmm. and they can do more than just sit, you know, work for us within a salon, yeah. they can run a salon yeah. and we have offered that to some of our students. Wow. Um, so yeah, you're not just getting the course, you get, if, if, you, if you're good at what you do mm-hmm. and we can clearly see that we will, we'd be silly not to offer you a role within the team.
Brilliant. So another really important thing was on your mm-hmm. course, you only have four people at a time. That's correct. No matter yeah. what, no matter how much yeah. your demand is, yeah, that's you correct. only have four people. Yeah, and the reason for that is we've obviously had feedback from other students that have been to other academies regards of being makeup, hair, etc. Yeah. And we found that students have, have not either been happy because there's 20 people on a course, yeah. they've not had enough time with the teacher. For us, four people per course gives you enough time with the teacher, mm-hmm. regardless of it being five days, three days, two days or one, it don't mm-hmm. make a difference. It will only be four students per hour courses that we set up. If obviously we travel to you and there's a, gr- a number of people, we'll tailor it so that we make sure you will learn and we'll yeah. tell you how many days you need to do mm-hmm. if it's a bigger group. But in the academy, it's only four students per course. Plus it's very salon based. When you go upstairs, you will see we've made it like a salon experience. So whoever comes in will feel like they're actually already working within the industry. They're not just working in a, ro- a classroom. It's actually a salon you're working within. I like that. I really yeah, like that. Yeah, it is important. And uh, another thing I like, that you lot are offering now money back guarantee. We are, So if you're not correct. happy, yeah. they can get the money back. That's right. So for example, if we say we're going to teach you eight techniques, mm-hmm. if we haven't taught you eight techniques, we will guarantee that you get your money back. Um, so whatever we say we're going to do, we'll make sure we do it. If we fail at any point, we will guarantee that you get the money back and that will be within the contracts so the students will see that before they even sign up. Mm-hmm. Um, it's an incentive in a way. They yeah. know they gar- we're guaranteeing they're going to get what we say they're going to get. Yeah. And like I said, that's why we will stay over if we have to, to make sure that we off- we're going to give you what we offer. It's mm-hmm. very, very important for us, our reputation. Yeah, and the all-important question, I'm sure everybody's wondering at yeah. home, how much do you guys charge? Um, our standard prices at the moment for a three-day course it's £900 but that includes everything that's the photography the models the equipment so you literally in any of our courses you just need to turn up on the days mm-hmm. and that's it mm-hmm. five-day courses it's £1,350 mm-hmm. um, and our two-day courses which we'll offer as of January is £750 mm-hmm. um, the two-day courses we're not sure if we're going to offer the photography yet because it's only a short period of time yeah. it's whether we may get a photographer to come along to take photos just in general but we need to make the, the most important thing is the students learn mm. it's not about the photography in them two days it's walking away with the skill and mm. um, if we can put something up in terms of the photography afterwards we can arrange that with the student that's not an issue yeah. you know we're here to make our students happy yeah. um, and that's it it may change we're always offering discounts if there's a special period it's just a matter of Joining us, up, joining us up on Facebook and website and making sure they learn everything from there really. Now you guys are running a course right now as yeah, we speak, a five day yeah, course. That's correct. It's day four, the recurring, Rose is currently upstairs with the students, mm-hmm. yeah, so they've had four days now, well today, mm-hmm. um, within the course. I've been upstairs, I've actually met the girls today, um, I've been busy obviously working on other things this week, mm-hmm. but they're clearly very confident. These girls that are currently upstairs, one of them is, she's been within the hair industry for about a year now, mm-hmm. um, she's doing one of our courses now, which will give her a boost of confidence. You've got one lady that's come all the way from Leicester, she's actually staying within Bradford for the whole week mm-hmm. and going upstairs and having a quick chat with her now she's very very confident and happy with what she's getting with Rosa and the teaching. Yeah. The other thing you need to know which is important is um, obviously we run the courses Monday to Friday 10 till 4 mm-hmm. but that's not strict if we don't think you've learned enough in that day we will stay over till you get the skill that we're trying to teach so you, you make that sure day. Your we, it's learn. so important for us that our students walk away happy. Excellent. So it's not about us sticking to times and yeah. us saying oh we said this and this is what we're going to do no we will go beyond what we say because mm-hmm. we want you to go away 110 percent confident that you've learned what we you know you've gone away yeah. with the skill we've learned you because at the end of the day we've got reputation at stake mm-hmm. and we don't want the students going away and happy and saying oh we we've been taught with rose and then they're actually not able to do the skill that we've yeah, taught them yeah. we need to make sure they're able to go away with the skill yeah because like you said um, it is your reputation but yeah they are, they are studying right now yeah they are teaching definitely. rose is teaching them upstairs right now she is yeah should we go take a look around yeah definitely let's go fashion, fashion. fashion.